Here are our 10 tips to help you make sure that you get the best score you can in your IELTS speaking test. There are four different marking criteria that the examiner will use when they assess your speaking test. Fluency and coherence, lexical resource or the vocabulary that you use, grammar and your pronunciation. So you need to make sure that your preparation covers all these four areas. Try practicing role play. Ask a, a family member or a friend to act as the examiner and then practice just as if you are taking the real test. Get them to ask you questions. They don't need to have perfect English in order to do this. You could even try swapping roles. And just make sure that your preparation is fun and make it interesting. Something to keep in mind, don't try to learn a dialogue off by heart and then try and use this in the test because your examiner will see this and you will lose marks. What you say in your speaking test just needs to sound natural. Just get used to speaking in English as often as you can. The more you can do this, the easier it will become and the more you will want to practice. And of course, the higher the mark you will achieve in your speaking test. Read the IELTS information provided on the ulearn.education and IELTS.org websites. Also have a look at takeielts.britishcouncil.org and the cambridgeenglish.org websites. Get as much information as you can about IELTS and the IELTS tests. And do the practice tests which are on the IELTS.org website. Recording and then listening to yourself is a, a really powerful way to assess and then improve your level of spoken English. And there are lots of free apps around that will help you to do this. When you listen to the recordings of yourself, think about the four criteria the examiner will be using and where you need to improve. For example, are you speaking too fast? which is affecting your pronunciation? Or do you find yourself repeating the same words, suggesting that you need to introduce a wider vocabulary? Listening to your own voice <laughs> might seem a little bit strange at first, but you'll soon get used to it, and it is a really, really good way to improve. Make sure that you are prepared and ready on the day of the test. Don't risk being late for the test. I would advise that you get to the test centre at least half an hour before the test is due to start. Use comfortable, reliable transport to get you there. And make sure that you get a good night's sleep the night before the test. The, the very last thing you want is unnecessary extra stress on test day because you didn't manage your time properly or didn't get to bed early. There are lots of different English accents. Canadian, Australian, South African, although the IELTS speaking test will focus mainly on British and American English. You will hear lots of different accents if you listen to English language films and TV shows. And if you want to, to hear really good, well-paced British accents with good rhythm and intonation, then listen to the BBC News. Clear pronunciation is really important. Make sure the examiner can easily understand everything that you say. Also think about the fluency of what you say. So avoid long pauses, or talking too slowly, or saying um or er. Uh. Also speak loudly enough for the examiner to hear you clearly. There is no need to shout, but make sure that you are loud enough to be clearly understood. 
IELTS speaking tests aren't the type of test that you can get right or wrong because the examiner will be asking questions about you and your opinion on different things. They might ask you about your family or your hobbies or where you work and then they might ask you to to perhaps give your opinion about something. If for example you perhaps told the examiner that the the population of the town that you live in was 15,000 when in fact it is only 10,000 that it doesn't matter you won't lose any marks. This test is about how well and how clearly you can speak and not about the subject you are speaking on. So you don't have to revise or study anything or think about how a textbook might describe something. Just talk naturally about yourself and about your ideas on the topics that the examiner presents to you. Remember as well if you didn't hear or understand the examiner's question properly then don't hesitate to ask them to repeat it. It is much better to do this rather than try to guess what the examiner said and get the answer wrong. Demonstrate to the examiner that you have a good vocabulary. For example, don't just describe things as being good. Think about excellent, outstanding, rewarding if you're talking about an experience, exceptional, superior, exemplary, above average, favourable and so on. <laughs> but don't just use big or uncommon words for the sake of it. Don't forget your, your main objective in your speaking test, just like the reading and the writing tests, is to make sure that you are clearly understood. Now you obviously can't speak without doing some thinking about the answer. But the point I want to make here is be careful not to overthink your answers, because if you do you might find that this gets in the way of getting your message across. You might start to pause for too long whilst you're trying to think of something clever or complicated. You don't need to do that. You just need to have a natural conversation with the examiner without trying to be too clever. Keep focused throughout the test and listen very carefully to the examiner. Don't let yourself get distracted or too stressed. Just relax and go into the speaking tests prepared to have a nice coherent conversation. I hope you found our tips useful and don't forget to watch our other videos to help you get the highest band you can in the other IELTS for UK VI academic tests. Thank you.